Okay, so it looks like it is working. Maybe. So I have this new system set up, so in theory, it is both streaming and recording. So the if, for instance, uh, I Twitch drops my connection, I should still actually have a recorded footage of it. We'll see if it works. Either way, welcome to Stoneblock 3. So, I haven't played, like, any. All I really did was get a texture pack and, like, kind of quickly run through the, like, initial ten quests in a single-player world, just so that I knew where I was going with it. But... For those of you who don't know, Stoneblock 3 is a continuation of Stoneblock 2, which is a continuation of Stoneblock 1. That is a Feed the Beast hack that is like a reverse skyblock. One where you're, you spawn underground and you got to rebuild the world from stone world. But, this one has an interesting addition to it, in the fact that there is, like, actually things to find about in the world. I'm figuring we'll just go with the default, because, like, the rest of these would be kind of nice to start in, but... Nah. If I want to, like, make another world... I might do it. What are you doing in my swamp? Thank you for the follow, uh, TJ657. And th welcome to the stream. Um, but Stoneblock 3 is a continuation of Stoneblock. Not really a continuation, I guess. A sequel to Stoneblock 2 and 1. But in 1.18, which I've been hoping for a while that Feed the Beast would put out another one. Because the other nice thing is, Feed the Beast packs, while they are not, like, constantly put out, they are consistently, like, high-quality packs. Most of the time. Welcome to FTV Stone Block 3. This mod pack has is placed entirely within the underground world, no surface. As you travel further from your spawn point, you will come across dungeons, caves, and eventually ring of nether and end. Every player has their own dimension, spawning at 0, zero and have their own rings. You teleport to another player using the TPA command. Which each player having their own dimension is very nice. Because that means because in Stoneblock 2, when you played multiplayer, it was only like 2,000 blocks or so to get from one player to another's, like, spawn area. And so it's like, eh, if you really wanted to, you could go in a straight line and find someone else. Which, I mean, it's nice, but uh, kind of could lead to some issues. In the world such servers spawn this lobby area. Everyone spawns here, but you shouldn't stay here. To create your own dimension, you go to the portal in the center, you can choose your dimension starting cave there. This also creates a FTB teams party. Joining another player's party will send you to their dimension. Once you're in the party, you can use the command FTB stone block home to port to your dimension's origin, or FTB stone block lobby to teleport to the lobby. Events. On your journey, you'll through Stoneblock 3, you'll occasionally find random special events happening to you. We don't want to spoil them right away, but they can reach from giving you a handy loot to just being funny or mildly annoying jokes, depending on who you ask. If you want to toggle off individual events or see a list of all of them, you can use the FD events toggle on event name command. We're not going to worry about those just yet. Getting started. 
alone in a cave with nothing but rocks, what's better than the use of your time than punching them? Finding stones with their fists result in dropping stone pebbles, which can be crafted into cobblestone. It can be eaten if, for whatever reason, you would want to. Crafting table. Four pieces of cobblestone. And also, we got some redstone repeaters, which honestly, I'm not opposed to. I wish... Well, Hopper, that actually could be very, will be very useful, because there is bonsai pots. Without wood, make do with stone. Four cups stone can be crafted into a crafting table. Oh, we actually got four hoppers. Actually, that is a very nice uh, starting reward. Actually, let's find out. In Sunblock 2, yeah, if you use something that isn't your fist, it won't give pebbles when you break the stone. A little bit slower ability to get cobblestone than, for instance, the Garden of Glass world, but eh. It all works in the end. So, if I remember right, I need about 20 pieces of stone so I can get a... Or, not 20 pieces, but... Off by... One pebble. Of course, actually, that is true. Is there at X... Okay, yeah. So it's not based on the X Nilo system. Which, while it's nice, it's the same thing over and over again. Oh, yeah, since it's based on create to replicate the X Nilo system, which I think is a very good idea from the FBB, FTB team to use create to replicate X Nilo because like then you actually feel like you're making machines instead of just kinda eh we put this block down and then feed it the things. Also I really hope for more survival mod packs that do make use of create without also like being like oh you need a uh... 59 iron per basic machine chassis. And good luck. Here is like one every stack of cobblestone you put into it. Have fun! Okay, lots of cobblestone. There is vein miner, but you can't vein mine the stone, which honestly is fair. Improved pipe upgrade and hovering hourglass. But Tania. Well, guess I have an hourglass now. Which actually that is true. Can I make a Nope. Okay. Because I know Tinker I'm pretty sure Tinker's is in this. Yeah, Tinker construct is in here. But I guess that is true. It's in the it would be the newer version, so it uses um the patterns for everything, including the crafting bench. Just need to get some saplings. Compress dirt, compress gravel, which honestly is a very nice thing for it to just go ahead and give us at the beginning of the game. Because typically getting just enough dirt to actually get things going is the hard part. Then if we make a stone crook, and then... Vain mind that. Oh. Hmm. 
Well, easy food source. Honestly, let's just kind of... Let's move that for right now. Um, I have to go with oak. But what I'm thinking is we make a small little area to actually grow the source berries in. Because I did know that the Ars Novenio was in this pack. But I did not know that the crook could actually just get the um, saplings and source berries from dirt. This also means that like my first real food source is probably going to be um, the source berry rolls. Because I already have wheat seeds and I already have source berries, so... Just really wish it was a 3x3 hammer. Huh? Oh! Aha! Okay. That's good to know. Oh, yeah. Sadly, you also have to use any tool to actually vein mine. So, sometimes you'll see me crooking um, wood or something. That's just if I break an axe. Okay, so speaking of, let's make two stone axes. And... Wait, what was the recipe? Oh, it needs actual stone. Okay. That's fine. Claim these. Builder's Wand and Red Blade Sir Lens. Alright. 12 seed rolls, which is actually kind of nice. And... Yeah, let's just go with the oak for right now. Hi, Sebastian. Did you have a fun time outside? Did you have a fun time outside? In the snow? Yeah, it's the first day of snow Ow. this year. Cat, you not claw my toe. Yes, hi. 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 And so, of course, even though I've asked that Sebastian not be let out and outside at all, he apparently got out today. But, oh well. At least he came in probably pretty quick. And it's not like there's any, like, real concern. Just kind of hoping to turn him into a bit more of an inside cat than an inside outside cat since. not really safe outside, you know? Hey, stop. Yes, Sebastian, I'm talking about you, but that doesn't mean you need to claw my chair. Ooh, got some vines. R, R, R. Which I'm actually going to lower locks by a little bit. Hello, Alien? From the hit movie Alien vs. Predator? Bone meal. Arvetia. Jeweled apple stuff. Uh, easy. Um, but yeah, nothing too important for apples to be kept around for. A 
What cat? What? Just good old crouch spam. Shoot. Certainly mine the leaves with the axe. Which actually. No. Um. What's it called? Um. Tick speed. Tick speed. Tick speed. Tick speed. Tick speed. Random tick speed. Because if I just double it, that won't really affect crop growth, but will increase the speed at which the leaves vanish. Which will help. Since I don't have any good way to clear them out without breaking whatever tool I'm using. Okay. Let's preemptively make like three more furnaces. Get another set perk hole going. Put some cobblestone in. So wait, how many stone? Okay. So the next step that I want that you'll want to do in this mod pack is directly up and directly down, about fifty blocks or so. There is a layer of andersite, which if you know anything about create, you know that andersite is needed for like everything. Thing is, we want to go up and get that andersite, or at least get some of it. Best way to do that, of course, is to make a ladder and just dig straight up. Or down, depending. However you want. Fifty-four... I want to say that's enough, because in the quest, it did say... Mine either up or down far enough, you'll reach a layer of andersite. Beyond that, steep slate, and only then is there bedrock. Specifically, fifty-five blocks tall above and below y equals y zero. So we need... Actually, that's the correct amount of ladders. Um... Now is we should make some pickaxes. Because well, sadly, we still can't do just a straight tunnel. We still will want to light it up and Make sure that we have some enough spare stone pickaxes to cover however much andersite I want to grab the first time around. Because while it's pretty much infinite, because it's like this entire circle that's what? About 400 diameter both that way and that way. The entire circle will be filled with andersite and it extends further out to I think about here relatively. Maybe. That might be too far. So it's like we don't have any like space or uh a Sebastian don't really have any like space or lack of space issues or lack of resources either it's just kind of you don't necessarily want to have to go up all the time first I should 
only build up the ladder so far before stopping to dig. Because then I can use the quicker digging that is standing on a solid block instead of the slow, technically flying digging. That's only slightly quicker than swimming without uh, aqua affinity. My block measurements are going to be a little off, but it'll be fine. Loot B. Uh... If you happen to see a Loot B spawn in, you definitely want to dig to it as quick as possible. Because in my single player world, only a single Loot B spawned in. But it dropped like a diamond, a piece of copper, and a netherite pipe upgrade. So I think it just kind of has a pretty much completely random drop pool as well. Oh look, an egg. Piece of copper. And a mystical cyan flower. Well, it wasn't as good as in my single player world, but was pretty good because I'm not sure what it would take to get an egg normally in this mod pack I mean I guess actually let's find out egg well yeah the chickens would make sense I'm not sure how to get a ch chicken necessar necessarily so yeah because yeah there is also just like stone block one and two, there is the chickens resource mod. So that you can make a giant coop and fill it with all of your favorite resources. Oh, you know, having to make a machine dedicated specifically for each resource. Instead, you just have a chicken, grade it up to 10, 10, 10, and then just... Oh, look, andersite. And then just kind of let them fit their resources into a uh, drawer, is my typical go-to at least. their sight a little bit. The andersite and the stone really do look similar. But you can't vein mine the stone. Okay, that should be plenty of andersite to start off with at least. Because Nice thing is, we don't need iron necessarily for A. We don't necessarily need iron for the starting andersite stuff. Which is good, since when you see what we have to make to start out, it's kind of like, yeah. If you needed iron, that would have sucked. Actually, yeah, let's grab the source berries for right now. Because we're going to make a stone 
Hammer. What's the Bastion? Stone block? Yes it is, Vimal. Yes it is. Also, how are you doing today? Because I saw some spoilers for stone block and I'm like, okay, yeah, I definitely want to play it before I potentially see more. And so here we are. I plan on eventually going back to the other one at some point, but... This is a much better way to mine. Okay, so wait. We do a... 3x3? Three three. Doing good? Alright, nice, nice. Today is the first day of the year that Ohio is getting snow, actually. Which, kinda sad. So it's a very cold and honestly looks like it's coming down pretty hard out. Just know that it's not going to keep any on the ground, sadly. So, we'll go with a 3x3 three three area over here. Yeah. So, 3x3 three three area gives lots of place, lots of space, without, like, being absolutely huge. Match the way. Bye. Go over here, because I'll turn... And have like a small wall of source berries so that I constantly have berries for food. I'm actually going to lower player sound effects. Yeah. It's the weird eating sound effect. There's war there's been worse, but like much prefer there to be a very quiet one instead of a louder one. Which also it seems like music isn't actually going to start, so I'm just going to turn on pretzel. Okay, picked up on that already. Okay, so... Oh, that's an interesting place that we'll start putting those. Okay, but cogwheel, hand crank, and millstone. Need cogwheel anyhow, so crank, crank my wheel. Oh boy, that's. I'm not sure I hundred percent like that type of style. I mean, I guess it works. Where did I put that? There's the other side. Okay. Seems to have a slight delay, which is kind of odd. So wait. Oh, that's just by pressing A on that. Interesting, interesting. Of course, yeah, I guess I should have grabbed some of the wood 